So uh, 0.5 will make the cube half the size it is now. And the x, y, z means uh, what we were looking at before. X will be the width, Y will be the height, and Z will be the depth. And you'll see when I click OK that everything will shrink to half what it is now. And we're working in real meters here, so that's that by cube, half a by half a meter is, cube. Uh, akin to a. So the reason why you would want to uh, type in um, measurements instead of using the edit control is for greater accuracy. For example, Dragging a cube onto the scene, we might want to model the base of a building. And it might be for an outhouse, for example, and there is an example of one of those in the actual 3D Canvas Pro help files. So we'll, we'll work towards building that and it'll, it'll help you to understand more about the program as well with, with results that you can actually see. So we'll make the base for it by right clicking scaling and this time to size and this time we're going to type in actual measurements the x width of the base will be two meters the height will be 0.2 or 20 centimeters and the z to make it square will be two meters and instantly our cube is transformed the uh, problem is it's sitting up in midair. Now this this is a problem because if we exported that at the moment, it won't uh, look very realistic sitting in, in midair in the in the game. And the way we can get that down is to adjust the object's properties again by right clicking properties we get the a menu like this appear. And what we're interested in is the group position. Now, X we're not really worried about, Z we're not really worried about at the moment, but Y is, is the problem, so we'll adjust that to zero, which that, that should put us flat on the ground. You can see that didn't quite work because it's now sitting under the grid as well as above it it's embedded halfway into the ground there's solutions to our problems and the first solution would be to find out why it's embedded halfway into the ground now the reason why is quite simple it's to do with this object's axis you can see here and if we adjust our display to wireframe and reselect it we can see that the axis is sitting centrally in that cube and that's where the position is taken from so that is actually at zero it's sitting right on the on the grid there so it should be simple enough to find out what the size of the object is by selecting it. And if you look down the bottom into the task pane, it gives us the dimensions of the object. And then we did type them in. It's 2 meters by 0.2 meters by 2 meters. So that should be a simple adjustment. Now, we can move the object again, we can reposition it, and that should be a movement of half the object's height. So go to back to the object's properties, and in the group position, set the height to 0.1 on the Y axis. And you can see that that worked. It's now sitting flush with the ground. No problem. Well, there actually is a problem because even though it looks all right, it's MSTS will not be able to use that as the um, ground. 
MSTS doesn't really care about our grid in, in this scene, in this program. It uses information within the objects themselves to place them in the right position within the game. So it uses the object's axis to find where the ground is and it will do what we did to start with and embed the object halfway into the ground because the, the axis is still halfway in the middle of the object. What we can do is move the axis. To move the axis we need to first set up our views differently and we do that obviously under the view menu and view selection. When you select view selection this uh, selection dialog box pops up and it allows us to um, split the screen up and we can have different things in different panes on the screen. What we'll do is use the uh, this one here and you can see what the new screen looks like. We have a large panel here and three smaller panels here. Um, we only really need one of these smaller panels but I was just showing you a different setup. In the, in the bottom central pane you can see uh, this is a top view of our cube. Now I'll just put the uh, back on so you can see. We can zoom in and out by clicking on the cube or move our view around by clicking outside the cube and then dragging but and that's actually opposite to how things work in the other view. Now there's nothing special about these panes they are the same as the large pane except they're just set up to uh, look at the top or the side or the uh, right or left and it's it's a straight on view there's no um, isometrics at all there's there's no uh, only that one pane you can see that one plane and to, to change that plane you right click and select view this, uh, orthographic and then you have a selection of which one you want the one we want is the uh, right hand side or the left hand side and there's our our uh, base there it's just tiny so we have um, another view control here we can zoom in and clicking on the light triangular panel we can move the object as we were before along the Y and, and Z axis but I don't want to do that we're not interested in moving the object we can also move the view let's zoom in 